Hi everyone, I'm Colin from LDS Living and welcome to day two of Deseret Book Live. If you missed day one, you've got to check it out. Emily Bell Freeman and David Butler give us an inspiring gospel message from their home. We even get to meet some of their family members and it's honestly the sort of message that we need right now during this really difficult time. So head over to our videos tab and check that out. Day two is going to be a little bit different. We know that because we're all quarantined, we're trying to keep in touch with family and maintain and even grow some of those relationships with family members, loved ones and friends throughout the country and even in other countries. And so one of the things that we can do to do that is to play games with them. We wanted to show you guys how to do a game over Zoom or Skype or whatever your various video conferencing technology of choice is. So we're gonna do that today. We've assembled a ragtag group of your favorite Deseret Book artists, authors, and speakers, and we're gonna play a game with them where basically we've surveyed a bunch of people and they're gonna to have to try as a team to guess the correct answers from the survey. So we're gonna see who does that. We're gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna keep score. You guys can play along at home. It's gonna be really fun. So yeah, we hope you enjoy it and stick around for the end. We're gonna talk a little bit about a giveaway. Okay, are you guys ready to play Quarantine Clash? I know I am. And you can play along at home if you want. Write down some of the answers. We have our trusty, amazing scorekeeper, Corinne, here. So she's gonna be holding up the answers, holding up the points so you can play along at home. And so our contestants know how many points they have. Are you guys ready to meet our families? I think it's time, right? Let's bring them in. Okay, we have Kate Lee, everyone. She is our first contestant from our first family. Please, at home, say hello to Kate, even though she can't really hear you because of technology. But say hello to Kate. Kate is the artist behind so many of Deseret Book's most beloved paintings. And while she's handy with a watercolor brush, she did admit to me that she's not super great at games, but I think she's gonna kill it today because uh -huh. that's all we have to do during this time of quarantine, right? Is play games with each other. Right, right, and hopefully be clever about it. So we'll see. <laughs> Absolutely, I believe in you, Kate. Okay, let's bring in our next contestant. Joining Kate and Kate's family is the incredible musician, Chad Truman. Let's bring what? Chad in. Oh, no, that's okay. Technology is our friend, but we brought Yo-Yo in instead. Yo-Yo, her voice is the musical equivalent of gold woven into silk. From the Bonner family, we have Yo-Yo Bonner. Please say hi to the people at home, Yo-Yo. Um, thank you for that lovely compliment. Okay, and if technology, if technology helps us, by the way, thank you for bearing with us. My amazing uh, colleague and friend, Corinne, who is helping us with the technology, kind of struggles to work like a calculator, so we're gonna get this thing done <laughs> by hook or by crook. Please welcome in, we have Chad Truman, everyone. Chad Truman from the National Truman Band and the band, the Truman Brothers. Um, he's coming to us all the way from Tennessee where he's, yeah, he's part of those two amazing bands. Incredible songwriter, gifted musician. So yeah, say hello to Chad. Hello, you. All right. Cool, and before we bring in our second family, do you guys have a family name all figured out? We do. Oh, Corinne just spoiled it. But what is your family name? <laughs> Hattitude. Hattitude. <laughs> Hattitude. The Hattitude family. Okay. I am so excited to play with you guys. This is going to be great. Let's bring in our second family. So I think first we have Charlie Bird. If technology will let us bring Charlie in. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Wi-Fi. Charlie. Charlie. Okay, we have him. He's coming in. All right, while Charlie's loading in, I'll tell you a little bit about him. He was actually Cosmo at BYU from 2015 to 2018. Incredibly talented, both as an athlete uh, and an entertainer and as a writer. He actually has a book coming out uh, this, this summer, I believe, right, Charlie, with Deseret Book? We're yeah, correct. Talk more about your story. It's going to be really inspiring. We're really excited. So, Charlie, thank you so much for being here as a member Happy to be of here. this competing family. Um, okay, who's next? Is it? I think it's Barbara Morgan Gardner, author. Oh, you, you, so you probably know her. She's the author of uh, The Priesthood Power of Women. That book was, um, yeah, it came out earlier this year. I think it was the end of last year. Incredible book. Uh, she's also a professor at BYU, and she has a lot of books behind her, which means she's probably going to know more than all of us. <laughs> Definitely not, but my team will do well. I'm excited for the family. Awesome. Okay, let's bring in our third family member. And it had to be another Truman, right? We had to go brother against brother. We have Chad on the Hattitude family. So let's bring in Ben. Hey. Uh, ben Truman representing, what is your family name? Do you guys have a, a family name for you guys? We are the Maroon Three, I believe. Maroon, Maroon Three, baby. Three, okay, I love it. <laughs> the Maroon ben, Three. Right We're going brother against brother and Maroon Three versus Hattitude. Are you guys ready to play some Quarantine Clash? Ready? Good. Oh yeah. 
Okay, before we get started, I have a couple of questions for you. We'll do our own little survey. How about that? Sounds good. Question number one, show of hands, who is currently dressed up on top, but wearing sweatpants or something else on bottom? Ah. <laughs> Oh, the lady! Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm like suit and basketball shorts. Sorry. <laughs> I can question. I putting on like actual like jeans, but I was like, they're not going to act. So I'm not going to stand. <laughs> okay, second question, and this might apply. I hope this isn't a gender stereotype, but it might apply more to the gents than to the ladies. But show of hands, who has let a family member or significant other cut their hair since quarantine? <laughs> last night she did a pretty good job my sister fixed me up yeah you see that it. she did good i got hair for the first time three people amazing <laughs> it's not <laughs> cool barbara the barber that was good yo-yo <laughs> full of them, cool. full of them. That's all. <laughs> Part of the barber <laughs> Was that a snort? I'm <laughs> sorry. What? That's funny. That's really funny. Yeah, it's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So nice. Thanks for letting me have it. It was good coming from you, though. It was awesome. You guys are awesome. <laughs> now that we've got that sorted, it's time to play Quarantine Clash. Yeah. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Bring it. Okay, so for the people at home, this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to play a game that is similar to a beloved TV show where families battle to answer questions based on survey results. But for copyright reasons, we're calling it Quarantine Clash. Um, we have three surveys with their corresponding results that we are gonna ask our contestants questions about. And basically each contestant will go through and they will answer questions until they get until they fill in all of the answers on the board. If they're unable to successfully fill in all the answers on the board and they get three strikes, then the question will pass to the other family who gets to steal the points and it's total points wins. You guys ready to play? Ready. Let's get it. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. To decide which family gets to go, we're gonna use our group chat here in this Zoom call as the buzzer. So you're gonna go one at a time. I'm gonna read the question and you have to literally type buzz to buzz in, okay? Okay, first up, from Team Hattitude, we have Yo-Yo Bonner. And from <laughs> room three, we have Charlie Bird. You guys ready? Go. Charlie, ready. Okay, fingers on the buzzers, <laughs> which is basically the group chat. Okay. Name something that scares the living daylights out of people. Oh, we have an immediate buzz from Yo-Yo Bonner. Okay, Yo-Yo, <laughs> name something that scares the living daylights out of people. Snakes. Snakes, Snakes is the number one answer. 13 what? points. Nice. 13 nice. people responded. Good job, Yo-Yo. Good job. Boom. <laughs> okay. 13 points. Nice. Ha Team Hattitude, are you going to pass or are you going to play? There are 10 answers total on the board. So we can discuss this, right? We can figure yeah, this out. Yeah, you can discuss it. 10 answers on the board. I Pass say, away. and the goal is to get all 10? Yep, all 10. If you can't get all 10, then the other team gets a chance to steal. I think we can do this. Yeah, we can okay. play this. Let's I think it. we can. Let's play. Oh, okay. 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 So, there's no conferring during this round. You can confer when you steal, but during the main gameplay, you can't confer. So, after you go, next up we have Kate. Kate, name me something that scares the living daylights out of people. Spiders. Spiders is our number two answer. 12 hey, people please. said spiders. Wow. Well She's done, well done. Okay. She is a queen. Next we have Chad. Mm -hmm. Chad, name me something that scares the living daylights out of people. Public speaking. Mm -hmm. Public speaking. That's a good one. It's not on there. Ah! Strike ah! one. That's literally like the top thing of those lists that you hear from people. I I'm sorry, know. don't click die than public speak. Blame oh, the Florida. Okay, yo yo. Ghosts. Ghosts is our number eight answer for seven points. Ah! Congratulations, board. Okay, my okay. turn. Yep, Kate. The dark. The dark oh. is our number ten answer. Oh, Six people good. responded. The dark. I'm afraid of the dark. That's one of mine. So. The great, great response. Okay, yo, yo. Oh wait, no, it's Chad next, right? Chad, you're up next. 
on, Chad. Okay. Should I just go? Time to redeem yourself, Chad. I know. I don't want two X's in a row. Um, oh, gosh. What was the actual question again? <laughs> Name me something that scares the living daylights out of people. <laughs> um, uh, I would say scary movies. Scary movies. Number six answer for oh eight God. points. Oh. Oh, it's making a comeback. Well done. Well Not done. Back. Making a comeback. Okay. Yo yo, name me something that scares the living daylights out of people. Heights. Ooh. Oh, heights nice. Is not on there. Oh, whoa! <laughs> brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh my gosh. If I get this wrong. Hey, that's two strikes. One more strike, and we pass it over to the Maroon Three. Kate, you're up. What okay, scares so the no daylight? pressure here at all, <laughs> and I might be wrong, but I'm thinking kissing. Kissing scares people. All right, Maroon Maroon <laughs> Three. Sorry, no worries. Maroon Three, you can confer with each other, but I'm going to need an answer from you. All you have to do is get on the board, and all of these points are yours. What do you guys think? Um, I'm thinking like earthquakes or flying on an airplane. Flying on an airplane, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know. But I have, I have death. Or what about rats or mice? Those are good. My uh, marriage. <laughs> That's also very scary. <laughs> Coronavirus. <laughs> Depending on when the survey was taken. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not a 2020 survey. I'm going to need. What about what about needles? Like get, getting Needle. blood drawn. That's gosh. Barbara, you make the call. Yeah, Barbara, we're giving it to I you. I think it goes something scary like death or needles, but I don't, don't make me make the call. Come on. I feel like every, who's not scared of love? <laughs> okay, what's your answer? I like mice. You, should you say mice? I like uh, mice or I, death. We do have mice. That, that, that fits the animal, the spider, snake yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. go for it. Okay. You're going with mice? Mice. Mice is the number nine answer. Oh! Congratulations. Good call, man. Good call. Wow. Which means after all of that hard work, Maroon 3, you were on 52 points. Attitude, I've got nothing for you. We have no okay. points after all of that. Charlie, we're here. No, it, it feels okay. good to be on the board. Come back. So. We'll come back. Okay. Oh. Okay, the rest of the answers. Thunder, bugs. Lightning, burglar, and you got all the rest. So yeah, burglar. Oh, wow. That's a hard one. No clowns. I'm glad we didn't say no death. clowns. No clowns. Wow. We did good, team. Yeah. Feels good. Next, be. next round. So next round, we have Kate going up against Bob for the buzzer. Oh, you probably oh, Kate. Kate, Kate, Kate. Got it, Barb. Hey. We got this, people. Hi. Kate, I love you no matter what. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there are there are six six available answers. Six available answers. Okay. Name an activity during which it's better if you don't look down. Does that go? Did yeah, that I have a buzz from Barbara Morgan Garden. Oh, it didn't go in. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Um, rock climbing. Good. Rock climbing is our number one answer. 28 oh. points. Oh. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, 28 points. <laughs> Are you going to pass or play, Marie 3? Um... Well, there's six answers. Six of them. Mm -hmm. What do you think? If we pass and they can't get all of them, what do you think? I don't know. Statistically, this is harder than the last one if it's just six. It, it technically, is, it, it's harder. Well, yeah. Unless we know the six, which I don't want to blow with. on ourselves and go for it. All right. They went for it. We can go for it, too. Okay. okay. <laughs> what? Let's three three and I. Okay. So next up, we have Ben. Ben, name an activity during which it's better if you don't look down. Uh, flying. Flying is not on there. Eh. Oh. Like one. <laughs> okay. Charlie, back it's to you. Me, huh? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go with, um, you know, I always laugh because every time I watch this, a show like this, I feel like someone will give the worst answer and their team's like, yes, good answer, knowing <laughs> it's going to be bad. So here we go. Um, like tightrope walking. Tightrope is our number two answer for 16. Yeah! Okay. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Home, Barb. Oh, <laughs> we need this is getting strong. Um, this is hard. 
know this is hard. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go with biking. Biking. You look great, don't you? When you're supposed to be biking, you look great. Good, oh, good I'm answer. Here. <laughs> biking is not on oh, the oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not pulling through on this. No, one. I'm, I'm stressed about this all of a sudden. <laughs> right. Oh, right. Precious. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, the only time I've had this feeling like don't look down is when I was in a tall building i was looking I was at a at a press of like a cliff or something i don't okay. know how to put that into words so like just being at the top of a building or a mountain can i say something as general as that i'm gonna ask you to be more specific oh, oh two different things hold your ground colin <laughs> <laughs> i mean can i just say top of a building top of a building is not on there <laughs> 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 Was that, was that okay. our third? Uh, that is it. That's three strikes. Okay. Oh, I God. think I know it. Have some, you know, I thought of okay. How to shoot. Oh. How to shoot. I, I have in my brain bungee jumping, sky yes. diving, mm -hmm. diving board, cliff um, jumping, base jumping. Yep. That kind of stuff. Um, what's that? The mountain biking, but the big mountain, mountain biking where they go to the top of the, the very top where they jump off of the helicopters yes. and they go down that way. Whoa. What is that called? Is that just big mountain biking, right? Well, what do you think about just like bungee jumping? Because that's like that was that was my first thought was bungee jumping. So maybe we should go with that one. I'm so okay. nervous. Who's up? Is it Yo Yo? Are you up? Uh, it's all of you as a team. Bungee jumping oh. is that your answer? I think so. I don't like yeah. Bungee jumping is our number six answer. No! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> we snuck in there. Oh! And, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, are you hey, gonna give us the other answers? Yeah, it was tree climbing on there because that was my next one. Tree climbing. Tree climbing. <laughs> the rest of the answers, skydiving, mm. mountain climbing, Ooh. climbing a ladder. Climbing oh. a ladder. <laughs> that would have been hard to get all six people. All right. Okay. So after two rounds, the scores are Hattitude 49, Maroon 3, 52. All to play for in this final round. Oh, cool. oh. That's okay. anyone's game. Counting. Brother against brother. We go, brother against it. brother. We go Ben and Chad. Six answers on the board. Six on the board. Final question. We've been waiting this our whole lives. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> for brother supremacy. <laughs> Name a food kids always finish. Oh, that is an immediate buzz from Ben. No, we're so close. <laughs> ben first. Chicken nuggets, chicken fingers. Not on the board. Oh, what? You're so right, though. This is oh. the hundred people they surveyed. Where was this? Where was this survey? <laughs> hey, so all you have to do is get on the board, Chad. Uh, question again? <laughs> Name a food kids always finish. Think back to when you were a kid. Become Ice cream. Family. Ice cream is our number three answer for oh. third. <laughs> this is tough. All right. Go to Attitude, that. pass or play. Yeah. I can only think of one other thing. What? Oh no. Um, so, but so that's I. I can only think of one <laughs> other thing. I've got, well, yeah. I don't even know if it's kids. Like I have kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's my girl. My boy, you don't need anything. We have a you know zero for two track record of getting them all right. So I'm kind of tempted to swing it to them uh, in a in a want to win way. Okay. But Barb has kids, and Ben, do you have kids? Yeah. I have three kids under six, but I missed my answer. So. <laughs> <laughs> ben, your answer was the same as mine, buddy. Okay, I think we should pass, but that's just so. me. Yeah, let's pass it to, let's pass it to the Maroons. Okay, Maroon, Maroon 3, currently leading by three points. Next up is Charlie, because Ben answered first. So, Charlie, you're up. Name a food kids always finish. Can, can I ask if... <laughs> friend? <laughs> right, right. Like, is candy considered a food? That's my question. Um, okay, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna say a hot dog. 
Hot dog. That's a good answer. <laughs> Number six answer for six <laughs> points. Oh, no. okay, okay. Okay. Next up, Barbara. I liked I liked Charlie's question because that that does give us a lot of options if it's a one general answer or not. But since I don't have an answer to that, I'm not going to take it yet. I'm going to go with French fries. French fries. That's good. That's good. Number two answer for seven. Oh. oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. If I can't get this, then I don't know what's going on. Mac and cheese. Ooh. So they don't. So Corinne, they don't have one strike. Oh, Just, that was from yeah, the that, that was, was from the, the beginning. The Thank yeah. you. No strikes. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what was your answer? Sorry, Ben. I'm gonna say mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Number four answer for two. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Oh, no. Answers remaining. <laughs> <laughs> We just have two left. Okay. So it's Charlie next. Two answers left. Um, kids, kids like. You got this, Charlie. People. People. I'm you sorry. Like applesauce. <laughs> applesauce <laughs> is. Come on. Oh. Oh. Two answers left. Two strikes remaining. Is it hot? I'm hot. I'm hot. Help me, Barb. <laughs> I got the AC pumping, baby. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It was really hey. good. Um, um, I'm trying to decide if if milkshake is in the same category as ice cream. Do you think that's too close? I don't know. Let's go for um, it. Hey. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> I can also go for cereal, but then would I have to go for the specific, like Lucky Charms? I don't. I don't know if you need to go for specific. Okay, I'm. I'm going to go for for cereal. Put that on the board. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. One strike left. Two answers. Will the strategy uh, of passing it so that the Hattitude team can steal pay off? I wish I could change my hat like you, chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, two strikes, huh? Two strikes. Ben, no. Oh. With ben was an excellent batter in baseball, so. With french fries on the board and with hot dogs on the board, I'm going to stay in that world. I'm going to go with hamburger. Ooh. Hamburger is... It's there. Not on the oh! 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 Okay, attitude. Oh! All the points. Wait, wait, wait. If they don't get it, though, we still win, huh? If they yeah. don't get it. Okay, okay. You are the winner. alive. Okay, okay. All, all, all you have to do is get either the number one or the number five answer. That's all you have to do. You might say vegetables or something like that. Is it pizza or chocolate? Oh, oh. She's so good. Down, it might be pizza. Grilled cheese, because my boys eat a million of those every day. Um, Pop-tarts are huge. Huge. Colin, give us a little wink. If we're <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm that it is a food. Yeah. You it, it, it is a food. It is a Dude, food. I think pizza would be, it seems like the most on the brain of pizza things. Pizza parties from, from like birthday. Or like everything, huh? Okay. I think, I think pizza, That's I think pizza. it might be number one, honestly. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Pizza is, can we get like a post-production drum roll? <laughs> <laughs> pizza is, the number one answer for oh, 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 yes! Way to go, Kate! Congratulations yes! to Team Hattitude. <laughs> 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 I, I don't know how we missed that. I don't know how we My missed that. My kid doesn't like pizza. Oh, he doesn't either. Awesome. Oh, man. These final scores. Um, so you had pizza, you had french fries, you had ice cream, you had mac and cheese, and you had hot dogs, which gives you a final score of 121 points to 52. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, Team Hattitude. Yes! Wow. Yeah, Sam, yes. Sam, I'm final... so proud of you. Hey, what were the other answers? The remaining answer was PB&J. Oh, oh, are you kidding nice. me? I can't believe I didn't say pizza, but man, 
I guess wow. it's, I was thinking about four year old kids instead of 14 year old kids. Yeah, I hot think hot of only. Yeah. You know, I will say that y'all had your thinking hats on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, like that. I, I feel like we got to do it another day. This was, this is the beginning. <laughs> of the yeah. This is a rivalry, fun, dude. This is so. Yeah. Well, tune in next time for episode two of Quarantine Clash. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for having us. Good job, team. Hey, family. Bye. Love you guys. See y'all. See you yeah. guys. That's it for Quarantine Clash, you guys. The hottest new game of 2020. We hope you guys had fun watching and playing along. If you played along and maybe have a disagreement about some of the answers, maybe leave us a little comment. Tell us about it. Um, but thank you to all of the artists and authors who joined us. It's so fun to film. So fun to play. Okay, it's giveaway time. It's kind of what you've been waiting for, right? A little bit? Like, not really, but like a little bit. For today's giveaway, we have 10 copies of the Bonner family's brand new album, Love Abides. It is absolutely beautiful, and we want you guys to win a copy. All you have to do to enter, literally, the only thing you have to do is just leave us a comment. Comment on this thread, and we'll pick a winner at random. As for day three of Deseret Book Live, tomorrow we are bringing you a special brand new LDS Living five minute fireside from author John Hilton. The message is all about peace and hope and we're just so excited to bring that to you. You've got to tune in tomorrow, 6 p.m. Mountain Time. It's going to be beautiful and yeah, we hope to see you then. Take care guys.